the an email, isn't it? What's that? It can blow a five gallon bucket four stars up in the air. Wow. Sounds sexist. What sounds sexist? Post office. Or mail office. Ah yeah, mail office, yeah. It's spelt different though, isn't it? But yeah, I see what you mean, mail office. Yeah, it does sound sexist actually, right? Post box in a P O a post office. is that a post office box that the post office has it in to deliver our mail if we don't have a mailbox at our home cheaper ah yeah yeah that's a that and in that um what do you call them them. You see them in um, American films with, with um, in like flats and stuff. You see them in little, like a little storage box itself. With a, you have a key for it. What do you call them? <coughs> Email is cheaper. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not even tele telegraph can beat email, can they? Yeah, well, we call them PO box, but that you can get them like um, when you're answering a competition or something. They say PO box one. And then they give you a postcode and you send it to that P.O. box. And it's just basically so that nobody knows where that's going. The address. No, I don't think Telegram's uh, faster either. a long way as technology though, hasn't it? With like um, telephones from when you had a telephone to now a mobile phone where you can walk down the street and make a phone call. In certain streets anyway that didn't block your signal. When I used to work on uh, refuse collection on bins, um, when I used to go down this certain street, it were all covered in trees, and the trees from one side of the road to the other side of the road touched in the middle, so it were like a really dark road. And um, when I went down that street, I couldn't get a signal on my phone. That's the sort of street I'm talking about, where you can't get a signal at all, and you have to like hold it in air to get a signal. Anyway, I don't have a mobile phone. I got rid of it. Couldn't afford it. Not anymore. I didn't need it anyway, I needed it for work, and now that I don't work, I don't really need a mobile phone. And anybody can t contact me by email now, anyway, which is even faster than anything, like we just say. Think of next though, really? It, how, you know, how's technology going to evolve now? What can we get that's fast? I mean, we used to have pigeon messengers at one time, didn't we? And now we've got email. What can be faster than email? Oh, sorry, Frank, I didn't see that. Is that a picture you've posted? I'll look in a minute. Is it? 
I destroyed somebody's retribution vendetta. Well, four vendettas. Nice. I destroyed two of your vanquishes. Got one percent on your vendetta, and another va vanquisher at thirty-three percent, and your gamma beam off still full health. Is that the gamma beam off? Um. Well, it will have weapon. Has it got weapons on that, or is it just um? Like mine, which has got only two specials and a and an anti mortar on. See, Twitter's quite fast for getting around as well, isn't it? I think it's social media, really, isn't it? That's the fastest thing in anything since anything, really. Social media, we'll call it. Nova Storm Fragments times three. Cool. One more um, 60 and we'll have 44 mil, we need 6 mil after that. Teleporting, <laughs> oh yeah. I'd like to be in the UK in like 23 seconds and stay 23 years. I'll go down under in 23 seconds. Yeah. Imagine if you could drill right through the earth and get into Australia without going through earth's core, <laughs> that'd be fun. I could make, if we could make something that would withstand the million degree heat that the earth's core's got, that you could just travel straight through it to Australia. I wouldn't like to go in 23 seconds though, because that'd be like G-Force. That'd be too fast. That'd be like the pipeline, wouldn't it? How it shoots you out of that, like a bullet from a gun. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't like to go in 23 seconds, that'd be way too fast. How close am I to the River Thames? Uh, that's miles away, that's Newcastle. Thames. Oh no, it's River Tyne, isn't it, Newcastle? River Thames is uh, London, yeah, that's our capital. That's England's capital, is that? London. Yeah, the river that runs through London, yeah. I'm thinking at River Tyne, which is Newcastle. Miles away from London. Um, about 200 mile away from London. How do you spell it? Thames. It's... Um, I think it's like that, River Thames. Yeah. How do you spell Thames? Uh, 
Yeah, that's right. She says. Yeah, we're up north of London. London's um, down south to us. We're classed as um, north, south, east and west Yorkshire. We're in West Yorkshire. It's um, London as well, spelt with an O and not an A, an A. How we spell it? It's London, like that. Well, it's actually from Londonium, isn't it, or something? You're in what was called the Badlands, or the Barbarians land. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Couldn't, I couldn't answer that. My main town is called Leeds, which were, it's actually the, just about centre of Yorkshire really. Or the centre of West Yorkshire anyway. far away from uh, Ellen Road, the football team of Leeds United. It's a bus ride, a couple of bus rides away really to Ellen Road from here. <coughs> or a car journey straight there. Romans did out of that area. Did they? Oh. That's probably why we haven't got straight roads then. <laughs> We've got bendy roads all over the place. Should be 44 mil now, I do believe. Yep. Look at that, nearly there. Woohoo! Two day build token. Here we go. <laughs> you know what I mean? Romans, yeah, they made straight roads, didn't they, apparently? You love history, do you? I never liked history, really. I just realised I've just done a second one, that's probably where I got 10 minutes extra damage from. Not concentrating. 